In this video, we will be talking about the top 10 most successful countries at Miss International over the years. There have been 59 editions of the Miss International pageant and in this video, I'm only going to be counting the winners and runners up. So there are usually up to four runners up at Miss International, first, second, third and fourth, of course. So I will be counting the amount of winners a country has and then, you know, also tabulating their runners up. Surprisingly, Japan is not on this list. And that is surprising because the pageant is actually based in Japan. And we all know that it's the case for Miss Universe as well as Miss Earth that the host country usually have the most wins as well as the most placements. So I was pleasantly surprised to find that the host country for Miss International, which is Japan, actually only has one winner and has not done that well at the competition. So, at number 10, without further ado, we have Germany, who has two wins and two runners-up. Of course, Germany won Miss International 1965 through Ingrid Finger, who was 20 years old, as well as Miss International 1989 through Iris Klein, who was 20. At number 9, we have Mexico, who has two wins and three runners-up placements. Mexico, of course, won the pageant in 2007 through 24-year-old Priscilla Perales, as well as in 2009 through Ana Gabriela Espinosa, who was 21 years old. At number 8, we have the United Kingdom with two wins and five runners-up placements. Very surprising. Um, of course, they won in 1969 through Valerie Holmes, who was 23 years old, as well as in 1972 through Linda Hooks, who was 20. Now, of course, in 1986, um, England's Helen Fairbrother, who was 22, also won Miss International, but I didn't count that because, you know, there's, there's a vast difference between representing only England and representing the entirety of the United Kingdom. I mean, the United Kingdom includes Wales, Scotland, as well as Northern Ireland. So if you want to include England's, you know, 1986 win with the United King win, uh, with the United Kingdom wins, I suppose they will be, you know, at the number six or five positions. Anyway, moving on, we have number seven, which is Poland. Poland has three wins and two runners-up placements. Of course, Poland won its first crown in 1991 through the gorgeous Agnieszka Kotlaszka, who we did a whole video about. She was only 19 when she won. In 1993, Agnieszka Pachalku, who was 20, won the competition. And in 2001, Malgorzata Rozhnieszka, who was 23, won Miss International. In the number six position, we're starting to see a bit more familiar country names when it comes to the pageant sphere. We have Colombia, who has three wins and five runners-up placements. Colombia won in 1960 through Stella Marquez, who was 23. Of course, this was the very first edition of Miss International. They also won in 1999 through Paulina Galvez, who was 19 years old. And then again in 2004 through Jamie Vargas, who was 21. At the number five position, we have Spain with three wins and six runners up position. Of these six runners up position, they have two first runners up. And that will be relevant when I talk about the next, you know, country who also has three wins and six runners up positions. Okay, so with Spain, in 1977, they of course had Pilar Medina, who was 21 years old win. And then in 1990, it was Silvia de Esteban, who was 19 years old. And in 2008, they had Alejandra Andrew, who was 18. In the number four, fourth spot position, where is my English today? We have Australia, who's had three wins and six runners up position. Now, even though they have the same amount of wins and runners up as Spain, 
three out of those six runners-up position were first runners-up, whereas with Spain, only two were first runners-up. So that prompted me to put Australia in a higher spot. In 1962, Australia had, of course, Tanya Verstak, who was 20 years old, win the pageant. In 1981, it was 20-year-old Jamie Derrick, and in 1992, it was 20-year-old Kirsten Davidson who took the crown for Australia. In the third position, we have the United States, and the United States has three Miss International wins, but get this, they have a whopping 19 runner-up placements at Miss International. How insane is that? So for that reason, I will say that even though they're not number one in this list, um, the United States is arguably one of the most you know, successful pageants at Miss International. In 1974, Brucine Smith, who was 23 years old, took the crown. In 1978, it was 20 year old Catherine Ruth. In 1982, it was 19 year old Christy Claridge. Now, in the number two position, we have a huge jump in wins um, through the Philippines, who have had six wins and four runner up placements. In 1964, Jema Cruz, who was 21 years old, took the crown for the Philippines. In 1970, it was 21 year old Aurora Pihuan. In 1979, it was 15 year old Melanie Marquez. Every single time I go through Miss International History, I'm still shocked. <laughs> I'm still shocked to find that Melanie Marquez was only 15 when she won Miss International. She's the youngest, of course, Miss International winner ever, as well as I think any, you know, national or international pageant for women, not teens necessarily. That's just amazing. Um, going on with Philippines' winning streak at Miss International, we have 2005's 22-year-old um, Lara Kigaman who won. In 2013, it was 23-year-old Bia Santiago. In 2016, it was 24-year-old Kylie Versosa. So they have a pretty good record at Miss International unfortunately not winning anything in the 80s and 90s but the rest of the decades they all have at least one winner lastly the most successful country at miss international is venezuela with eight wins and seven runner-up placements in 1985 uh, nina cecilia hernandez won the competition in 1997 it was consuelo adler in 2000 it was vivian urdaneta in 2003 it was gonzadir azua in 2006 it was daniela de giacomo in 2010 it was elizabeth mosquera in 2015 it was edimar martinez and in 2018, it was Mariam Velasco, which is, of course, in recent memory. So yes, those are the top 10 most successful countries at Miss International. Let me know what you guys think. Were you guys surprised? I was surprised at the number of, you know, um, <laughs> how do I say this? European countries, because we all know that Europe Europe kind of struggles sometimes, but I think that a lot of those wins were also the earlier days of Miss International, if I'm not mistaken, except of course Poland, who of course flourished in the 90s as well as early 2000s. Let me know what you guys think. I would love to know your thoughts. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye!